Well, hello everyone. Hey guys. And welcome to an extra special episode of Massey Art Studios. I'm Lee. And I'm Jeremy. And who isn't here for this intro and outro is actually Cole. Yes. Uh, we did film them, but unfortunately Cole's microphone wasn't working, so it didn't pick up any of the sound. Ugh. So we're going to have to do this again. So the day has finally come. Yes. Show Pony, where you get to showcase your eight foot by four foot <laughs> canvas. That's 96 by 48 inches. Yes. We've got about 470 to 500 ounces of paint going on this canvas. So crazy. Seven flip cups. Yeah. Six or seven colors, three people tilting and a partridge in a pear tree. It's <laughs> crazy heavy, but it was a heck yeah. of a lot of fun. Um, yeah, I'm really excited to share everyone this. I know, me too. Couple of uh, caveats. We only have two microphones in the studio, so I'm a little muffled. Uh, you'll be pleased to maybe know um, all the way through this video. Um, and we had multiple camera angles, but you know, we had the garage door open. It's an eight foot by four foot canvas, so there's some points yeah. where there's a little bit of glare, but bear with us. We speed through some of the parts. Hopefully it's still a fun, a really fun video for you. I'm sure it will be. I am sure it will be too. All right, guys. So we've already painted this one, but without much further ado, let's show you what we did in the garage. Absolutely. Let's do it. Hello, ladles and jelly spoons. Hey, guys. And welcome to the floor. Yes. Of the garage. Yes. With an eight foot by four inch can, eight foot by four foot canvas. Yes. With, with Cole's color. That's me. And, it is. And with us. Um, yeah, Jeremy's <laughs> been wanting to do this for... Oh, several ever. months now. Yeah, I think we've had you on standby for... Ever. Uh -huh. <laughs> so it's time, even though it's 33 degrees here in Texas right now, it's right. time to get this done. It is. Tell everyone what we're going to do. Well, I've guessed so. Th this is a wood, a wood canvas do here. Again? Right? It's a wood canvas. Um, so if you get a big canvas like this, a cotton, like a cotton canvas, it has a tendency to maybe sink in the center. So we wanted something that's going to be able to be sturdy enough to hold all the paint that we're going to put on here. So that's why we got this wood canvas right here. Right. Um, we have three of the larger sized buckets here. Um, that are, how many ounces are in that? These are 65 ounce buckets. 65 ounce buckets. <laughs> Which is very different than the 12 ounce cup that we normally Cole use. Is, Cole is king of the, uh, of the studio <laughs> right now. Third stack and uh -huh. And then we have, we also have 40 ounce, three 40 ounce tubs that we are buckets that we're going to be using also to pour the, uh, the paint on. We will be doing a flip cup. We will be doing a flip cup pour on this canvas. So it's going to be very interesting to see us have these big buckets and flip it real quick without spilling paint everywhere. And do you know how much paint that we can actually put in all these buckets? How much paint can we actually put in all these buckets? Oh, I thought you'd already worked it out. Uh, 160 plus 65, 130, 195. So about 350 ounces of paint. 350 ounces of paint for this eight by four foot canvas. Which, which paint wise, that's like $350,000, right? Uh, exactly. Right. Yeah. Yeah. This piece alone will be worth half a million dollars <laughs> with at least one million dollars <laughs> in product. We've mixed about 350 ounces. Yes. So I think every single ounce of paint we've got will be used. Yes. I like this palette too. It's, Thank it's, you. Actually, well, so let me tell you, we've got a rug in the living room. Mm -hmm. Yes. These, these yep. colors were taken from the rug. From that rug. We'll put a picture of it right here. Thank you. <laughs> so that's exactly the palette that Jeremy chose. Yes. Okay. You're going to layer the first cup and then if you pass the pots of color to me and Cole, then we'll do the other ones with you. Okay. If that's cool. Okay. Yeah. And you've laid them out how you kind of think that you want to flip them on the canvas, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. Are you, All right. are you ready to get going? Let's do, Let's it. do this. Okay. King Jeremy, teach us, show us the ways. Exactly. You've got two pots. Do you want to take them all? No, yeah, you, I'm going to give you one to keep, and then will you pass me that other one from behind? Oh, I'm going to give that one to Jeremy. Oh, so we all get, gotcha. Exactly. Gotcha, gotcha. All right. You, which color do you want to start with first, Jeremy? Okay, so I was thinking since the 
The darker color, I would like to put in the bigger cups that are going to go towards the center. Okay. okay. Uh, more of that darker color. Okay. And okay. That's the first color in the pot. And that's that's going to be the first color in the pot. Okay, got it. So let's do the big pots first. Okay. Now you've got, we've got the greenish blue by Amsterdam. Oh, yes. Yeah, please. And we've got the alizarin blue hue yes. by Golden. Yes. Yes. We got Pearl White by Goldens. We've got Pearl Glacier Blue by Arteza. Pearl Glacier Blue by Arteza. We've got a mix of Chromium Oxide, oxide Green Dark. Dark and Mixed with gray. Payne's Gray. We've got Gold. We got Gold. And then Titan Buff. Titan Buff mixed with Van Dyke Brown. That's right. To make a nice, Delicious. nice tanny kind of like New Buck suede color. So you, this is, we, we've sorry. got orange, we've got light brown, we've got uh, <laughs> bluish green, uh, we've got blue, we've got uh, gray, we've got light blue, and we's got white. That's exactly right. <laughs> yeah. That's from someone who doesn't play with fluid art every day. Exactly right. To play with house paint. Exactly. <laughs> All right, so take your small bucket, please. And Jeremy's going to pass us the pearl white. Oh, so you're putting pearl white in the big one too? Yes. Okay. Just, just We're so pouring into know. pearl white in all of them. Okay. Just so you guys know, I've never, this is my first time ever doing a pour painting, I think ever. So. Okay. Except for the ones we did with y'all. Really? Yeah. Oh, so. damn. Okay. This is, this is a new, new territory for me. A new venture. Yeah, exactly. All right. So I shouldn't finish it though, right? Or should yeah, I? Uh, you know, but you want the same amount in the pots like what we've got okay, here. Okay, so like to the, to the one, to the two. It's like almost 10 ounces of white. Okay. Gotcha. I think that's probably a, yeah. Yeah, that works. I gotta. And then in your big pot here. too. <sighs> All right. Well, these jeans are now painted. <laughs> now painting jeans. Yeah. All right. Oh, there's a ten ounce marker. Uh -huh. Oh, I was looking other Because I knew that you'd never done this before. Huh. Make it I need some more of that white. Oh, I'm at like I'm at like six on this. Whatever. It'll be fine. Because you guys put a little bit more than I did. And we have more of the paints as well. I've got them on the side. And we'll scrape these buckets out too. Yes. Or we just Hand me the, uh, the spatula that's up there, the OXO spatula. Oh, yeah, yes. that's Of course. I need gloves or else I'm going to go crazy during this whole process. <laughs> I'm going to refuse your request for gloves. Seeing some of y'all's videos, the, I've realized how big it was for Jeremy to let that paint oh, yeah. run down his hand. Uh-huh. Because you, you can't. That's yeah. why I'm refusing to allow him to wear gloves this time. I, mean, I want you to feel the paint. Yeah. I'm going to feel some paint in a second. <laughs> okay, what's next? Um, next, I'd like to use the Chromium Oxide Dark. That's this one, sir. Yes. Yes. So I, I'm going to use more of it in the bigger ones. Honestly, so, I never realized how much composition goes into this. It's impressive. And color theory. Yeah, exactly. Well, color theory I knew. I, th I I thought that it was color theory and then just kind of you're at the whim of the paint. But it, now that I'm seeing this, I'm like, yeah, there's a lot. So watch how he watch how he layers this. Okay. Is it the dirty pour? This is the dirty yeah. pour. I remember you saying that. From, okay. From up high. Got it. Because yeah. the higher you do it, the more your paint will mingle. So this is just going in the big pot. Okay, you big just pot. The big one. Yeah, well, that's enough. Yeah, that was perfect. That was perfect. Okay. I'm like, well, yeah, well, no. Next. Oh, no, that was good. Yeah. That was really good. Okay, okay, so next, I think we should use the Titan Buff. You can go first. Uh, no, the one next to the gold. Yes, yeah. that one. Same, same again. Tan, yeah. But, like, not as much. No, it's fine. You can put however much you want in there. That was so fancy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But that's, how I, that's how I pour my, uh, like, coffee and tea. That's and how you do your lattes. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like salt there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Gotta be fancy with it. Like there was a point where I like would only eat things if they looked pretty or right. if it was like fun to make them. So Oh, that's good. I like it. Next. Because we're gonna come back to these. Yeah. Alright. So next, uh, why don't we use the bluish green? Bluish green. Or greenish blue. Same whatever, thing. However yeah. you want to say it. Oh okay, there we go. I almost just lost you half. You almost it. overshot. Yeah. Wowzers. Yeah. It's interesting recording all the prep work. Like I'm used to just having everything ready to go, start the exactly. video, boom. 
But <laughs> these seem for people at home, this is an interesting part of the process because if they wanted to try and recreate it, yeah. they've got to even do it in the same kind of, you know, layering way. technique. Yeah, that exactly. makes sense. Let's use the gold. Gold. Now, word of warning. Oh. This is a little juicy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> gold, the gold takes over, so not as much gold. Okay. And when you go to pour it in, kind of move it around. Okay, so, but still, still door, blah, 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 dirty up. pour, but yes. okay. yeah. Gotcha, so like. That's perfect. Wow. Nice. That was perfect. You're like a pro. Yeah. Well, that was a lot. No. You like that gold, I though. I like, I like so some bling. So we're going to make sure that they know that Lee's doing the middle. Uh-huh. Yes. <laughs> and I, yes. I've got the most amount of paint in my bucket, too. You do. <laughs> next. Okay, next is going to be, I think we should do the, uh, you want to do that, the Azurite? Yeah, let's do the Azurite. All right, let's do yeah. the Azurite. Let's do the Azurite. All right. Ooh. That was very, that was just like right in the middle. This reminds me of... Um, I don't know why this reminded me of this, but at the dentist, where I was getting surgery done on my mouth or something like that, and whenever they'd open my mouth, uh, or they'd have me open it, like, to do something, uh, they'd be like, it was like the coolest thing ever. Like, oh my god! And I just felt, like, so excited that I, like, <laughs> I did it! Because I was, right. like, I was, like, so loopy. I don't know why, but that, that same enthusiasm, but it was uh, genuine here, but they were just like, like, nice job! Maybe and I'm like, it was genuine yes. there too. <laughs> Maybe they're like really that excited for you. Maybe. So, you got to fill your buckets. Yes. So, so you're gonna go back through. The I'm gonna go again. back through the colors again. Okay, go on then. Let's do it. So I'm gonna this do. Time some I'm gonna go a little quicker. Okay yeah. guys, we're ready. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna put some base coat down on this canvas, um, and then we will start flip cupping. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. Everyone hands in. <laughs> ready, break. Oh. Alright guys, so I'm going to take this bucket and I'm going to flip it, trying not to spill any paint onto this spot right here. We'll ask you all to give us a score. Hang on, you're going at the back, remember? I'm going at the back? Yep. So I have to lean over fun. this. Yeah. Let's see it. Oh God, I don't know if I can. You can put your hand there. Go for it. One, two. Whoa! That was good. Nice. That was awesome. That was impressive. I'm gonna go next to the last. Alright. Save the best for last. That was good. Okay. Nice work. Yeah. Alright, where do I go? Like, diet, exactly. Yeah, like right there, it's fine. Alright, I'm gonna put this here for fun. Okay. Um, okay. Oh! <laughs> That's fine. That's harder than it looks. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap. I, I thought, like, I'm gonna do better than y'all. <laughs> I think it was that spin I had. It was, it's a flick of the wrist. It yeah. is. It's you gotta go really I'm fast. In the whole paint flipping scheme. All right, I'm gonna put mine here. Yes. Very good. Do Very you lose good. a drop of paint hardly. Come on, Jezebel. Not right. Now you gotta wow. redeem yourself. Jesus. Oh. Okay. This one's mine. Or yeah. This one? Either or. Either or. Right here. Sure. Go ahead. No. Do it right there. Oh. Yeah. You but, why am I so aggressive? You went for night. <laughs> <laughs> and one, two. Yes. Nicely done. It's impressive. Woo! Look right. at this. So, Jeremy, we're yes. going to lip these. But yes. I would suggest that you let the paint out of the bucket and then use one bucket to just lip the whole way up and down. Like go from this top. Yes, because we want it to be one integrated. integrated yeah. 
This is so cool to look at, just all the different cells and stuff. So we'll start with Coles. I'll lift that up and yeah. and then move down. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Coles, you want to lift yours up? Uh, sure. You just yeah, straight just up. straight up. Okay, so now white paint around the edges. Well, now, now lip it. Now lip it? Now lip it. What does lipping it do? Well, he will show you. Or do you want me to lip it? Yes. No, I'll lip it. You sure? Exactly. <laughs> yes, I'll lip it. All right, not too aggressive, but all the way down to all of them. Oh, it makes it cohesive. That's it. Wow. What do you think? That's pretty sick, love it, love it, love it, love it. That's pretty cool, dude. All right, so then let's move these out of the way. All right, guys, so now we got the paint on the canvas. We got our flow extender down. This is so exciting. We are going to do it now. What are we going to do? I don't know what time is it. It's tilting time. Tilting it's tilting time. Wait, I'm not afraid. <laughs> okay, so let's bring it this way to you to that corner first. We'll bring it back this way. We'll go to that corner, or we'll bring it to this corner, bring it back to the middle, go to that corner to bring it back to the middle and come to this corner.
Facilitator for making that happen. <laughs> but yes, this I feel like this paint kind of hits oh, different. Everywhere. Oh my god, it's on your forehead. I know. This paint kind of hits different when it comes to like sticking to you. Right. Like it's, it doesn't feel like house paint where I can just kind of rub it off. Because there's no latex in it. There you go. So there you have it, folks. There you have it. Eight foot by four foot loveliness. I love saying that. Eight foot by four foot. It sounds so huge. I know. Tell me all about it, Jeremy. What did you think? Oh my God, I loved it. I thought it was great. Um, I love doing big canvases and this was like such a challenge that I wanted to tackle. Right. Um, I loved all the colors that we use. I thought that they incorporated really nicely. The composition went uh, was really great. Right. Uh, it was so heavy so heavy so heavy there was a part where i think i because i put even in the just in the like on the screen i had to do a clean and then a jerk yeah. to, to get it up in the air yeah. because it was so gosh damn it, it not was only so heavy. is the canvas heavy on its own but then you add in 
almost oh five, gosh. five gallons of liquid. Yeah, it yeah. was heavy. It so was thank crazy. you to Cole's Caller for being here. Otherwise I know. We could never have done it. Yeah, I don't think we could have. What did you think of the final composition? Was it what you wanted? Absolutely. It's exactly what I wanted. Good. Yeah. Okay. Well, there we have it, folks. Finally, after much talk and after this guy wanting to do this for like months, we finally got around to that humongous canvas, yeah. and I'm sure it won't be the last one we do. If nope. it were up to Jeremy, we'd be doing these on every episode. <laughs> um, thank you so much to Cole's Colour. Please go and follow him. He is now actually uploading onto YouTube as well, I think yes. every Monday. So you'll get to see all of his content here, as well as TikTok, as well as Instagram. He's a TikTok yeah. rock star. So please make sure you go follow him and say hello and tell him the boy he sent you. Um, but we'll be back to just regular viewing Fridays, Sundays, Tuesdays, pause. Yep. Thank you to everyone that bought in the auction. Because of waiting for hardware, because of some really bad weather that's coming here to Texas, yeah. we are going to get all these canvases out, but it's probably going to be over the next seven to ten days. Mm -hmm. But check your PayPal info because we'll put the shipping information yeah. into PayPal so you can track that package on its way to you as well. Exactly. And thank you to Elaine Burton for winning that wonderful piece in the Super I Chat. Know. Super sticker giveaway. I'm excited she got it. All right. Show Pony. Yes. Would you like to tell everyone to like and subscribe? Well, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Exactly. It means the world to it us. It really does. Keeps us excited. It does, it does, as we always are very excited. And uh, yeah, thank you for being here with us this Tuesday Eve. If you are watching this and you haven't subscribed, please do consider it. It's completely free of charge, and then you'll get to see all our shenanigans. But we'll see you guys back here on Friday night for some more pause. Absolutely. And happy Mardi Gras weekend coming up. Yes. On. All right. We'll see you soon. Thank you, everyone. Bye, guys. Bye. And now to spank the Patreons. Spank the Patreons? Yeah. Who are the Patreons? Yeah, well, let me tell you. <laughs> the Patreons are a really special group of people um, that have joined us on our Patreon account. Now, that is a very special account to our YouTube channel. Yeah. And over there, people can opt into certain tiers or certain levels. One level will give you sneak peeks and behind the scenes footage. Lots of little secrets about what's going on in Massial Studio. At another level, you'll get access and invited to a WhatsApp group where the show pony and I <laughs> chat, we share pictures, and then we set a weekly painting challenge. Yes. At a different level, you also get access to an exclusive once a month live stream that isn't aired on the YouTube channel. And at the platinum level, you also get access to a once a month tutorial where we do like a real deep dive into a, a technique or yes. something that the guys, the platinum patrons, really want to know about. Now to spanking those people. At our gold level, we have Trisha West, Terry Leshner, Tammy Hasbrook, Stephanie Hancock, Sharon Luffy, Rebecca Hawes Winters, Patsy Petrelli. We have Nate Bright and Misty Tyson. We have Mama Doulas, Linda Serien. We've got Kelly Stowell, Janice Swansea. We've got Jane Klein. We've got Gloria Salaki, Gillian Kennedy, Donna Panis, Donna Patterson, and Amy Gardner, AKA, AKA Crafty Chicken Mom. Oh, that's a lot of spanking. It is a lot of spanking. Well, the spanking continues okay. with the platinum level. Right. Who is Susan Shepperson, Leslie Beaver, Janice and Steve Pittman, Elaine Burton, Dana Foxley, and at the diamond level... Hey, you all know her, lover. <laughs> Sparkles. Sparkles. <laughs> Yay, I've got a sore hand from all that spanking. <laughs> so to you guys and everyone else down below at the bronze and silver level, thank you so very much for wanting to be with us, for the extra support, and uh, for wanting to take a little bit of extra interest in Massey Art Studios. Absolutely. Thank you, guys.